Hello, and welcome to the Inform Subnational Risk Index Training, Module 4, on communicating and promoting the model. As a quick review, in Module 1, we discussed the vision and principles of the Inform approach. Module 2 shared knowledge on how to manage the Inform Subnational process. Remember, Inform is much more than simply data. Buy-in, participation, and partnership are essential to the methodology. Module 3 got technical. We shared the mindset, skills, and specific steps required to process raw data into a complete INFORM model. In this module, Module 4, we discuss how to promote and communicate about the model. Simply doing good work is not enough. INFORM partners need to advocate with the humanitarian, development, and governmental communities to demonstrate the benefits of the model to ensure that all partners understand the process and opportunity that INFORM provides. Have you ever built something and then wondered why no one ever used it? Making something great is only half of the battle. The other half of the job is making sure that people know about your work and understand how it can save them time and help them do better work in service of affected people. In this section, we will learn how to promote the model and make sure that your hard work on INFORM is integrated into programming that helps crisis-affected people in your area. Specifically, we will discuss making the INFORM model perennial, communications mindsets, building a communications plan, means of communication, and ideas about persistence and evolving your approach. Making the INFORM model perennial. The Global INFORM team is working to make a collective risk analysis an easy and standard part of humanitarian, development, and governance work. The model brings together partners in a collective process to assess risk and support decision-making that will help people plan for and thrive in disasters and instability. The author Ryan Holiday defined the concept of a perennial product. He calls this a creation that finds continued success and more users over time. A perennial resource is one that we return to more than once. It's something that we recommend to others and that increases in value over time. We are aiming to build a perennial model with INFORM, but how can we ensure a risk model stands the test of time? The first sections of this training have discussed how to build a coalition around INFORM, find data, and build a model. But once the model is finally built and ready, you're not even half done. This next step is about telling others about the model and communicating its value. Communications Mindset Your mindset around communicating the INFORM model is crucial. We must understand and value the model by making sure it is a good fit for our work and location. Only then can we communicate this message to others. Spend some time understanding the approach and its potential impact. Here are a few ways to look at the model that might help with the communication mindset. INFORM is the only open source collective risk assessment model that exists today. It is a unique approach that is a step toward a more sophisticated analysis and programming approach to help people in our complex and dynamic world. In an age of interagency and governmental competition, INFORM offers a brand neutral platform to collectively define an evidence base around hazards, weaknesses, and strengths so that we can make clear decisions on how to best help people survive and thrive. Many organizations and governments are criticized over a lack of rigor, consistency, or delivery. INFORM is an example of getting organized, working with others, and truly understanding the situation. We can then create the right action based on our profound and evidence-based understanding of our world. The model is not perfect, but we have to take the first steps down the road to a nuanced and risk-informed approach that will enhance our systems over time. These are just a few ideas on how to connect with the model in order to best communicate with others. How do you think about your connection to the process? Take a moment to think this through. The next step is to build your communications plan. 
If available, work with the communications team from your organization or government to develop an approach. This can be a simple one-page document that helps guide your work to get the right organizations to learn about and use in form. A simple communications plan has the following elements. Objectives. What is your objective for the plan? Here is an example. I want to integrate the INFORM model into national and subnational planning processes and have partners use and value the product, contributing over time to its continued use and improvement. Audience. Define your audience. They are the key partners who participated in the INFORM workshop, as well as a wider group of organizations, civil society groups, academics, and government entities. How about making the model available to people and communities who use the programs that your organization is delivering? Key messages. Define a set of key messages around the INFORM model. Let people know how you created it, in collaboration with whom, and talk about its benefits and what it can do for partners specifically to improve programming. Key communications products. Which specific products will you create? Next steps. What are the next steps to improving and using the plan? This could be the local informed subnational steering group approving the model, or it could be simply you starting to create the deliverables on your timeline. Communication means there are several ways to communicate about the model. Let's talk through each one in detail. In your normal workflow, referring to the model in your normal coordination or programming work referring back to it and discussing the findings and how they can guide and inform your decisions is a great way to promote the model. For example, how should I target the northern region given this existing risk profile? Or how does the flooding in the west impact a given set of people given their pre-existing risk profile? Another way could be, uh, I remember that we found a great data set on road networks for the INFORM model. I'll go to informindex.org and download the model so I can access that specific data set. Events. Most INFORM subnational models have a launch event to share the completed model and kick off the rollout process. Direct outreach. Sitting down for a face-to-face -face or video conference meeting to discuss the INFORM model and opportunities for more data and participation is a good way to share an open data approach and to build acceptance and use of the model. And finally, standalone products. Specifically made data extractions, flyers, and documents based on the informed subnational model are great ways to show the value of the approach. This could be a one-off analysis when a new small-scale natural disaster like a flood hits an area. Or you could do an analysis of current risk trends ahead of a national governmental planning process. Next, create a product table that defines your output. You may also want to create a simple milestone table that defines which products will go live by which date. The INFORM Central Asia team created a flyer on the model and its findings. Here are some examples of a great communications product that came out of their model. Persistence and Evolution We have shared a few ideas about how to make the INFORM subnational process a perennial product. These approaches are a starting point. The rest is up to you. What approaches can you design and implement to embed risk-informed planning and programming in your context? The key to making this work is persistence and evolution. Try a promotion technique consistently, each week or month for several months, like regular meetings, products, or social outreach. Watch and take notes on the results. Ask yourself, is this working? If it is working, do more of it. Is no one listening or using the model? Then try a different type of approach and start the listen test cycle again. The idea is to try something consistently, understand if it is working, 
and then push it to a higher level based on the feedback you are receiving. Thank you for participating in Module 4 of the INFORM Subnational Risk Index Training. As a reminder, we discussed how to promote and communicate about the model. Remember, doing good work is not enough. INFORM partners need to advocate with the humanitarian, development, and governmental communities to demonstrate the benefits of the model and ensure that all partners understand the process and opportunity that INFORM provides. In our next section, Module 5, we provide practical examples on how to use INFORM in decision-making and planning exercises in real-life scenarios. We share examples of INFORM's uses across the world, and we describe how to link INFORM to existing processes to improve contextual awareness and service delivery. See you soon in Module 5.